I'm kind of impressed. Impressed by what? I thought it would be way harder finding the yellow Vireo. But, uh, that's right, we'll find him before we even head back to my place. Yeah, I guess you're right. That is if he is even at Groffin's. But even if he isn't, I have a friend who fits Raven's description. Oh, wow! We practically checkmated this quest. That's for certain. Um, and the gold. Hmm? I was thinking, are you sure you want to get sued with the Raven? I'm pretty sure. Why do you ask? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with your chores. But she's, you know, for a mental facility. I'll have one of you guys with me, like always. It's not like I'm good at being alone with strangers anyway. Alright, I just wanted to make sure. Oh, um, good job winning against human. You're not too injured, right? I'm fine. Just a couple of bruises. Use her attack from the human clap. But I think he's in worse shape than I am. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Let's try to keep you three out of fights till the season starts in July, though, okay? Alright. So, uh, you said you have a friend who meets the same criteria as the Yellow Hero? Yeah, he's short, wide, stocky, has small legs, and he frequently smells like pizza. Huh, that's surprising. In the case that it is who I'm thinking, I think he should be fairly easy to have us join us. Welcome to Paisa Bar, Groshin. When you want Paisa, I'm over here. Wow, look, Carney, that has to be the yellow hero. I'm talking about the guy at the table over there, right? No, the big superhero behind the counter. I'll go get him to confess his identity. Wait, Emma, that's not. Hey, um. What kind of Paisa do you want? <laughs> Don't think the reds and greens will fool me, yellow hero. You won't praise or not, store closes in 20 minutes. Um, so, uh, I hear you fight crime. No, I make praise. And fight crime? Praise. Maybe I'm wrong. Praise. Okay. It, it wasn't him. And Nico, I'd like you to take a good glance at the customers over there and use every brain cell you got to think. Hmm. Uh, I guess that makes way more sense. Hey, Rodney, long time no see. How are you doing? Connie! I'm sad! What? What did something happen? Did something happen? I wanted to be a hero, but I failed! I just want to be a hero, Carney! What happened? I began to yell hero, and then, then I couldn't save everyone! The poor blue kid! He's in a death game! I'm sure everything will be fine, Rodney. It won't be fine until you start to find mystery! I gotta go get big and swole like you! Well, buddy, you can't. Really? I can? I can be everyone's hero? Rodney? How, Carney? Well, you see, Carney and I were looking for the yellow hero. And if that's really you, we'd like to offer you a spot in the Chaos Breaker Empire. What do you say, Rodney? It can be like old times when we wrestled in the yard, but for real. You could be the hero you've always dreamed of and get stronger. Oh, what the heck? I mean, where do I start? Well, step one is you move into the Chaos Breakers hideout. Then you can start training in my gym. You want to spot, just ask one of us and we'll practice. The only rule is you gotta help out around my house. Ah, oh, man. God, I could you send me the address? I gotta finish my hero work with the Sheridan kids. Sure thing, Rodney. What kind of hero work exactly? I'm sending them up with a chill apartment. Well, my investor friend who helps equip the yellow hero. That way the kids have food and a place to stay. Ah, that's so nice. We will wait for we get you a and we'll go real school. Me too, Maxie. First thing I'm gonna do is duct tape J to the wall. We want you out. Yeah, I'm excited too. Well, Rodney, nice seeing you again. I'll see you tomorrow. Good meeting you. You guys too. I'll be a real chaos breaker, just you wait. I'll be everyone's hero! You already are, Rodney. You already are. <laughs>
Well, that was easy. I didn't think it would be hard as soon as I had a hunch it would be Rodney. So, how exactly do you two know each other? <laughs> Rodney, he's getting off the road, yo, jaywalking trash face. He's my childhood friend. I've known him since grade school, and as soon as I got my job as an ambassador for our district, though, haven't been able to contact him in a while. Then I stopped the ambassador stuff and jumped into wrestling, and if I'm gonna be honest, you're a moron who turns like that. I'm glad we get to wrestle together again. His arms are a destructive force. However, I didn't know he'd become a superhero in our break. And apparently he has someone getting him tech for that. I didn't know you could just become a superhero. I mean, neither. I guess we can ask him about that eventually. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just been a long, pretty quest every day, but we got so much done. Well, we are the Chaos Breakers, and Chaos Breakers can get stuff done better than any other team. Aw, oh, yeah. You said it, Carne. Now, nah, let's finally get back to your house and tell the others. About time. <laughs> Grandson, I'll handle this. Hey, Mikael, what the damn doodle is this? Granddad, I, I can explain. No, you can't. That's weird. Creeps all up in your house. And who's that pink man? Why are you with all these things? I'm here, Mikael. You're not doing anything weird, right? Don't be like a daddy, Mikael. You just invite over random people for quickies. Do you know that? Like, this is like a daddy kind of messy thing because he kept inviting over weird people. Do this man show us slaps on our same I did not want to hear or think about any of the things you just said. I was like, I'll be you so foul baby if we're one of these clubs. Granddad, they're wrestlers. Not whatever is going through your head. I'm their producer. Oh, so you're flashing my big star I see. You know, that kind of stupidity that had your dad killed. Send them home. It, it's not. Look, I know you're looking out for me, but this is my house now. Hey, and go, don't be like a dad now. Send these men home. I am nothing like him. I'm not going to throw a big party or wave money in people's faces. I'm not going to go do disgusting things on a throne. This is my choice. You might not watch Chaos, but I'm the producer of this team. And they are not going anywhere. Because we are the Chaos Breakers. So the only one here that's going to leave is you. You can come back when you accept my choice. Here we go. Ah. 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 I'm so proud of you! <laughs> What? You've grown up to be so strong and smart! Alright, I believe you. Just don't do it about weird or stupid with them, okay? Uh, okay, I, I won't, I swear. Good. I'm gonna be flying to Azai to see the temple of the fish god tomorrow. So I thought I'd check on your world before I go. Uh, have fun? You three! Take good care of her! But if I find how one of you put a finger on her, I'll kill you to death! Don't worry, that won't happen, sir. Good! Now, uh, excuse me, Evan's granddad, are you a king? What'd you just call him a cow? Uh, Grandpa! I'm gonna king your ass, boy! You better bend your honey over! Wait, I wanna know if you're a king! Damn straight, I'm a king! Here we go, keep an eye on him! I don't trust his smug green face. Uh, uh, okay, I will. Bye bye, I'm living now. Jeez, I'm glad that's over. Emiko, your gramps is a king. He said it himself. He says a lot of things. Things I really never wanted to think about, so, um, dinner! You're making spaghetti. I like spaghetti. Need any help, Jazzy? Uh, what? Uh, I don't think I translated that right. He's asking if you could help him with cooking. What'd you think he was asking? Uh, of course I can help. Don't really know much about cooking real food, but I'm sure I can do something. I'm sure you and Jasmine can make some mean spaghetti. M.M., when can I go in the game room? Uh, maybe in a few days. I, I gotta check it personally first. But I wanna see your throne. M.M., you are prolonging my suffer. That's fine. Go run a hundred miles on one of my treadmills and I'll consider opening it, okay? One hundred miles is nothing! 
I'm gonna go finish setting up my room. I'm gonna down later, okay? Alright, have fun! Okay, Jazzy, let's go make the best spaghetti they have ever seen. You know a recipe? They won't even know what hit them. Wow! It smells so good! I haven't even seen the kitchen be used in forever. I mean, sure, I myself never cooked in it to begin with, but that's always Butler's job. But I'm still so fascinated. M M. Aha! I have found you. I I thought I told you. No one is allowed in my room. I'm not in your room, I'm on your balcony. You have to get to my room to get here, though. I'll let it slide just this once. What do you want, Blombus? Well, I thought of a compromise when it comes to your throne. As you know, we kings need a good amount of sitting time on our thrones. Have you ran a hundred miles yet? Only about twenty, but I got a better idea. You said King Daddy's throne is dirty, right? Yeah, it's very dirty. Well, luckily for you, I know how to polish a throne. I know how to polish anything. Yeah, what about the seat? It's some weird silk only found in elsewhere. What, is it stained? <sighs> yeah. Tell you what, if you clean the throne to maximum perfection, good as new, I'll share my throne with you. Really, you do that for little Blombus? <laughs> not little, but okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'll open the game room tomorrow, and when I get back from sushi and my pool match, I'll check your work, but if I deem it not clean enough, you will suffer the wrath of King Emiko. Wow, I knew it! You finally accepted your kingship! <laughs> Dude, I'm basically the king of this city. I know your castle's big and all, but don't think you can fool me. You wanna bet? Wow! Tell you what, Blombus, I'll let you in on a secret. A secret for only between us kings. Really? How many people know this secret? Not a lot. So, you asked what my dad did to have so much money. Do I finally get to learn your secret of being so rich? As long as you don't tell anyone. I won't tell anyone. I swear on your throne. So, how long have you lived in that Higo City? Pretty long. Why do you ask? So, you know how the construction basically stopped about four years ago? King Daddy owns the construction! N n no, no, no. The reason is because no one is able to purchase any of the open land. And I'm not legally allowed to sell deeds till I'm 21. Are you saying what I think you're saying? I profit from every corporation on my land. You're like a real king! How? I. Ah! Simple. Several hundreds of years ago, my insert lots of great grandparents bought all of this land. And because it was left to a 15 year old due to my granddad being incapable, our family lawyer had it so when I turned 17, the profits go to me. During that time, the money would be used to help the city, and as I said, when I'm 21, I can officially sell the land deals. That's gonna be fun. So, now you know, and uh, I'll open the door to the game room tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>